So Marshland Children's Village is a home in Arori which was started by my wife Sybil and myself in 2001 and it actually got off the ground in 2003, uh, it was officially open. Right now we've got 76 children. When we are given a child, we look after that child for the full period that uh, we are able to keep them, uh, and that's usually up to the age of 18 or just above that. Uh, any child in great need we will take as long as they're within our capability to look after them. And a lot of them are abused. Some have just been left in streets, at garages, police stations abandoned just anywhere. So the background to a child is not easy to follow. This is, is our orchard. This is my orchard. St. Marcelin's is divided into four houses. Each house is run by a house mother and an assistant who cook, clean and care for the children in a family environment. St. Marcelin's was awarded a grant in 2007 from the European Union to help the village in an attempt towards self-sustainability through an environmental project which is helping with water harvesting, solar power and home gardening. The village also breeds rabbits and chickens and has small fish ponds for breeding bream. Education is an essential factor for the future of these children who will only remain protected for their younger years. Whilst the village endeavours to keep all the children until they are 18 years of age, what happens once they leave will inevitably depend on the education and life skills they have learned while at St. Marcelin's. All children over two years attend some form of education. There is a preschool and nursery on site with a qualified teacher and assistant to prepare the children for their full-time education. It's nice to see children appreciating the education that they're getting. You know, they, they don't take it for granted. It's, so that, that's rewarding because the children want to be, and they want to learn. So. I love the team spirit. Everybody works together. We do it together. And uh, it's not only the teachers, even the non-teaching staff are very friendly. And I like the numbers of children in the class. It's like one to one. At this school, I like the holistic approach they are using in the development of the child where they are instilled in the Catholic ethos that will want a suitable Zimbabwean citizen who is humble, uh, who can be relied upon. Come on, babies, come here, faster, faster. We would like to build a, a, a skill center for the children where those that are not academically inclined um, could learn a skill of some sort so they're able to go out and, and work or form their own little company.
the, the culture of the school makes me feel at home or be at home. If we look back on what we started with here with one house and now what we've been able to achieve with God's help, we know that God gives you these visions for a reason and, and if He wants them to come about, they will. And it's pitiful to see some of them say, I don't know where my parents are and they just break down and cry and all you can do is just love them through it and try and help them as best we can. If you would like to help St. Marcelin's, there are many ways to get involved. You can volunteer time or skills, or help with fundraising events, or make donations. And when you take in a child, what, what sort of commitment do you make to them? My life, to look after them, which we have done. A lot of love going on here.